Welcome to the Muxall Open IoT channel. I am your host, Michael Crane. Okay, on the next page it says, uh, step two, I'm up here. Initialize uh, new proximity switches, click run on the top menu bar, and then click the yellow initialize machine button. Where we kind of was stuck last time. Okay, so I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna click run. And this is where we were stuck last time, so I'm gonna initialize. Oop. I hear it doing something. Oh, there it moved. It's doing something. There you go. Hey, it's moving. Let me see if I can bear a few of it here. Gosh, it went all the way to the back. I wonder if it had problems. See, I wonder if it's supposed to go all the way to the back plate or if it just stops there. I don't know. Huh, very interesting. I don't know if it's the documentation or just me, but uh, when I saw this picture right here, it dawned on me that job info is, they're talking about this right here. I was looking here. I thought this initialize button was supposed to say job info after it was done initializing when you fired up software, but I was wrong. They should, this step right here, when it reads job info, they should have this picture right here. And then another picture says, click on the settings button. It'll look like this afterwards, which doesn't actually look like that. It looks like what I showed you earlier. But anyway, okay, so we saw our, our homing sequence. You can read through it. It says what it's supposed to be doing. It doesn't say how far it should go to the machine. A nice picture would be good right here of, of what it looks like when a properly set up machine homes. The, uh, the next step is, uh, well, let's go back to our manual here. Okay, so we initialize the homing sequences. Oh, here we go. So if you go back to the older, instructions let's see what do we got here okay so this is this was revised okay when all three acts have homed your readout and carbide motion will display neg five neg five as shown in figure 11 jog slash position so i'm guessing if we go to the jog menu all right and does it say yeah there we go neg five neg five neg five okay Neg five, five what? <laughs> I don't think it's five inches. It does say set inch, set spindle on, set zero. Wow, I didn't know you could turn the spindle on. I thought we just had to use a power cord. Uh, set zero, rapid position. Well, we don't wanna break anything right now, so we'll have to read through the instructions. But uh, yeah, so this, this looks good. Okay, so out of curiosity, I, uh, I went ahead and measured the distance between this proximity switch and the end, and it it looks to be about, I don't know, 9, uh, 10 millimeters, right? And, of course, the other side's the same. If I get it square. Yeah, so it's about, about 10 millimeters, right? And But then, if you go to the top, let's see if you can see it there. It's only about, um, oh, sorry. It looks to be about, I don't know, seven, seven millimeters? So I don't know. Is this supposed to be five millimeters away? Or, or I don't know, this one's closer to five than it is 10. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the troubleshooting guide and, and see what others have said. Okay, <laughs> I forgot to show you the y-axis. So yeah, the y-axis, it's hard to see, but it looks like it's about 10 millimeters, nine and a half. It's not very accurate, right? All the X and Y seem to match, which makes me feel a little better. I was worried about this belt. The Z, we might have to adjust a little bit, but I'm going to go through this troubleshooting guide and make sure that uh, that I'm not missing anything. Okay, so I read through through this um, this troubleshooting. I didn't see anything. They, they don't really tell you where it, it homes to, so... Uh, but one of the things I noticed, it said um, 
you know, uh, will display negative five on all three axes or zero, 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 some other set of values which shows the offset from the working zero. I'm assuming there's going to be a working zero maybe in the front left corner. No, I don't know. Neg five. To, <laughs> I don't, is working zero? I don't know. We'll have to. I, I need to figure out the coordinate system on this guy. Yeah, and so the next step is just uh, run the test project. I guess we could. Maybe that would be the, a good start. It'll probably show us how to set the uh, the project uh, zero 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 point, and then when we home it, we'll see uh, see where it ends up. Okay. I was going through the tutorial, and I found this right here in the in the Hello World tutorial, and it's initializing the machine. A good continuation. And so, yeah, they told us to. This was revised in the in the revisions, but you'll see that there's actually it actually tells us what it means. So to move up, so the carbide motion uh, z equals negative five meaning five millimeters away from the machine origin that the machine backs off after homing until an origin is set, and then the x and y's will begin to move. So yeah, it is. What does it say? It's the uh, hey, well, can you move the switch trigger till they'll return the same part, engage the homing switch, back off, re-engage and back off again. Well, anyway, it, it I guess the five means five millimeters away from, so so our X and Y axes are almost 10 millimeters away and the Z is actually seven. So I don't know if this will, so I was looking through this and that's what got me to re rereading the manual. And it says, when the X and Y have both engaged, the machine will move off the switch is by five millimeters. And after the homing cycle is you will be sent back to the jog screen. Okay, now we're gonna clear the offsets. I don't know, do, I, do we have a problem? That's a good question. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clear the offsets. Uh, I'm just farting around now. Um, and so, uh, oh, by the way, um, to get to this, I, I clicked on uh, set in the screen jog position, I said I clicked on set zero, right? Because yeah, we just finished this step or looked at it, and I clicked on set zero, and it brought me to uh, the screen right here. And now we're gonna clear offsets. Whoop! Well, that didn't do anything. Clearing offsets will set the program back into machine coordinate position. Okay. Click set zero and clear offset buttons. And after clicking done from set zero, you'll be returned to the, okay, and let's click done. That didn't seem to do anything. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so the starting position here, I, I, I'm familiar with this. This is how you set your job. Uh, when you're when you're gonna do a, a start a project, you need to set the zero position for uh, your job, right? Unless I doubt if it's going to be on the machine position. Machine position is a machine's, you know, drawing area. The job is what you're going to be working on. You'll see uh, when we start doing this. Anyway, I, I'm I don't know what to do about these this offset. I'm going to look around on the internet before I get started. I don't know if it's that big of a deal. Um, after thinking about it for a little bit, I'm thinking that. Uh, that you know, I, it, it's it's only the only thing that's going to matter is for the is is the job coordinates, not the machine coordinates. So it just it's it's a little annoying that it's kind of off, right? <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to put an end to the initialize homing sequence and and move on to the run the test project. Okay. Don't forget, you can support the Muxall Open IoT channel by donation using a credit card and PayPal or by purchasing products at the Muxall store. Details and links are in the description under this video. Well, that's it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up, that helps, and hit the subscribe button, that really helps. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the comments under this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.